Guys, welcome to Steak and Eggs, number episode 49. One more to the big 5-0. Ooh. I cannot tell you how good I feel today. Yeah, why is that? Because, you know, like when you get stuck in the muck, the grind of streaming, because you stream every day. I do. When was the last time you took a break out of curiosity? I actually didn't stream yesterday. But besides okay. that, uh, mm. pretty much every day. What do you do on a day, yeah. a day you don't stream? Well, I laid in bed until the sun went down. I walked over to the store. I came back. And then I laid on the futon. And then I got Chipotle. And then I watched... Well, I guess you got... So this, normal and watch chill. Watch this. Watch how freaky I am. Chicken. Right? Chicken. No, no, no he never not. gets chicken, Why would I eat bro? chicken? So every chicken I eat is a steak. Wait, stop, stop. Okay, go again. <laughs> steak. Yeah. Brown beans. Brown beans? Oh, pinto beans. beans. Yeah. Beans? Okay. And then you got queso. Yes. White rice. No. Uh, I usually get brown rice. Oh, I would have never guessed that in my entire life. Yeah. Corn? No, you don't. Corn? It's yeah, it's a vegetable. Cheese. Yeah. Che yeah. That's it? Uh, well, now, now you got me. Th I got to think about it again yeah. now. Oh, God. I oh, think no so. Lettuce, yeah. I no lettuce, no tomato. Yeah, no lettuce. No sour cream. Well, I get some of the salsa on it, though. Which Medium is like, salsa, which the is green a little one. Bit. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. That shit's good as fuck. What's your Chipotle? My Chipotle chicken, yeah. almost all the vegetables, white rice. Oh, you eat fajita veggies? Mm -hmm, sometimes. That's just crazy. But yeah, I took uh, three days off. One day off wow. was insane. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to double up. Did it. And then I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just do it again because I'm going to do this fucking thing Monday. I'll just take three days off. Yeah. I feel... And y'all can probably tell before what was happening before the show. I am so happy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I just feel really fucking good. I, it, it is, it is, it's a lot when you go live every day and you talk about dumb shit that you don't really give a fuck about. But, well, I mean, sometimes I do, but sometimes I just don't Speak give a fuck. Speak for yourself, buddy. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, and it's like, how many times can I say, these Genshin players are fucking retarded, guys? <laughs> like, well, you've been doing it for three years. So, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty fine. Yeah, we'll make it forward, too. Apparently, Senor's coming out now. Everybody's like, oh, I love the game again, even though for the past six months, they're like, fuck this game. But now this character's coming out, so it's fine. But I don't give a fuck. I just, I feel like more streamers should take days off. So what I'm saying is, Abba and Preach, just thanks for the idea. I, I, I disagree. Oh, I disagree. Okay. I think you should never take a day off yeah. and you should only do it if you have to. I've, I've heard and, that, yeah. <laughs> uh, the thing is that a lot of streamers get worried about getting burnout and going crazy and losing their mind. I think that you should just accept that that's a reality of streaming. And you shouldn't be thinking to yourself, oh, wow, I need to maintain my mental state. Because think about how much more entertaining you'd be if without it. Can I tell you what my night was last night? Sure. This is how fucked up I was. This was last night. Yeah. You know when you close your eyes and it's black? Yeah. When I closed my eyes, it was white. Why? I don't know. And I could hear people whispering all around me. Yeah. Oh, and then God. I woke up and I thought I was live in bed. How are you more insane after taking a break? I know. <laughs> I, I don't know because my brain starts to work again. I'm also on TRT. I'm doing testosterone replacement therapy. Uh-huh. Because, oh yeah, so apparently if you're 80 years old, your yeah. testosterone level should be 300. If you're 18 years old, your testosterone level should be 1,100. Okay. You know what mine was? What? 254. Yeah, that's about what right. What the fuck? Yep. So I got injected and all my life, I was like, everything's like a little bit foggy. It's yeah. gone. The fog was lifted. Really? Yes. Huh, that's and interesting. And so now I like, everything is clear. I thought it was just bad eyesight. It was just low, I was just low T. Wait, what? Yeah. Isn't that pretty normal for guys in their 30s now to start doing... Uh, testosterone therapy? I have no fucking idea. I don't talk to other guys. I've never I've asked them about the testosterone levels. How are your nice. testosterone levels, Asmund? The last time I got tested, yeah. I was unsurprisingly completely normal in everything. Oh, great. Yes. Ow. Cool. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't I be? You are a medical marvel. Why wouldn't I be? What's wrong? Well, yeah. yeah. You're right. <laughs> You're gonna get studied. When's yeah. the last time I got sick? You're right. Yeah. I get food poisoning, I throw up, I get up, and I'm fine. Yep. Yeah. You're right. I threw up streaming last time I streamed. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw yeah. it in my chat, and I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to say hi. I said, hi, good job, guys. You killed her. Well, you and that's whenever she left. Yeah, so what did you do? I was playing, um, so you know those uh, Chilla's art horror games? Like uh, the one about like yeah, the YouTuber? Yeah, they're great. Parasocial. Yeah, I played the one called The Convenience Store. It's great. And um, these games are all first person. And... For some reason, it was just fucking with my motion sickness so bad, but I was like, I'm just gonna power through and finish the game. 
I was like, you know what, guys? One second. I got up. I fucking puked. And I came back. And I, w I wanted to keep streaming. But I was like, if I keep streaming, I'm going to get yelled at by chat. So I just ended stream. God damn. That's great. Did you feel sick after you ended the stream? Or was it something yeah, where I, like... I laid down for like half an hour. But that's what I, I, I wanted to keep streaming. Jesus. Yeah, so a YouTube short about you today where you said you had a dream about a tiger watermelon cat. <laughs> that was, that was, I had this what? dream of this reoccurring this, character. So yeah. I have very vivid dreams. like And like they're like pretty realistic, but there will be random like unrealistic things. And there was this reoccurring cat that it had tiger stripes, but it was like, yeah. it had like a watermelon for a stomach. And then in one of my dreams, yeah, it was very fat. It was like a tiger watermelon cat. And then in one of my dreams, someone, I don't even remember who, like it might've just been like a random guy, split its stomach open and ate it. Like ate nice. the watermelon nice. guts. And I woke up and I was like, oh my God, watermelon cat's dead. And I've never seen him again. <laughs> what the fuck? I want to make an addendum. I didn't take a break of streaming because streaming tired me out. It was like real life. You know, so I had time to deal with real life. Because streaming, it's, I don't know, man. It's really not that hard. You, you press the yeah. go live button, you play video you games. had problems harassing those small streamers. That's, that's right. true. <laughs> yeah, I saw that's the, true. Yeah, so you, Tectone got clickbaited recently. Mm -hmm. And it was like an article with no source and yep. no... Like uh, any reference or anything like that, no link to anything. <laughs> it was just a it picture was just of Tectone, Tectone harassing <laughs> yeah. small streamers. Tectone has been accused of allegedly harassing small streamers, and it's got a picture of him. Like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like all my photos ogre. are like that, so they don't really have that much option to choose from. But so, uh, why did that happen? Well, first of all, man, that is a that's a great photo. Uh, first of all, let me explain where I was. So, first thing actually is, did they deserve it? Absolutely. Well, who, are, who are they talking yeah. about in this? Uh, they're talking about Enviosity and Asian Guy Streams, a.k.a. Oh. two streamers who are my size. Or at least previously were. Not anymore. Anyways, so there yeah, I was. I, yeah. <laughs> there he's I saying, was, Wow, guys. now he's saying they fell off. He's just no, no, he's no. being rude. No, I mean... They just stop viewbotting anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. there I was eating sushi with my friends. I was at Sushi Bang Bang, getting the all-you-can-eat sushi. I was with a couple of these girls. They over order because they're, 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 or they're, what is it? What is it? Their, their eyes are bigger than their stomach. And I'm out here tanking the plates because if we don't finish the food, we then charged. we're going to get charged. Yep. I'm out here fucking feasting. And then I get like ping, 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 ping. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck happened? Who'd I kill this time? Whose child did I eat this yeah. time? Pulled up, <laughs> Dick Zerto. <laughs> harassing smaller streamers. And I'm just like, I don't even say it. I don't even get angry. I don't even get worried. I'm just like, Oh my God. Okay. Immediately I comment 17 minutes later, the post has like 300 likes in 17 minutes. Post a comment, I ratio it in five minutes. Yeah. Because it's just like, bro, I mean, how much longer are we going to do this? How much longer is this going to be the game? You say I did something that I didn't do and then people get angry about it. And then when they find out I didn't do it, they're like, oh, well, he's still loud and annoying. It's just over and over and over and over again, bro. It's, it, it was fun, though. It was fun reading all the comments. Well, I'm sure this will be the last time. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, this, no, this yeah, will be you're it. Right. I'm, I'm sure it will. I'm trying to think what the next thing will be. I'll probably cause an issue with uh, 4.6 Genshin Impact. That'll probably be a oh, thing. Oh, really? I'll you probably so? say, oh, man, Arlecchino singing isn't that good. And they'll probably say I'm like fucking... You like, you want to be a up misogynist kids. or something. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's it's funny. It is funny, but I just think this point. It's just kind of annoying. It's oh, just, it's I mean, I have people over. like people make videos, negative videos about me, and you know, that's just how it is. You know, it's what just was the, the last way time you reacted to one of them? I don't know. I reacted to one of them maybe like. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You uh, yeah. So I reacted to one of them maybe like two weeks ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of funny, right? It's not that big of a deal. Like, I, I don't really... Like, it might be annoying sometimes, but the only things that really annoy me is if somebody misconstrues what I say. Oh, dude, but oh my I, God. I love it whenever they're like, I say something and they're actually mad about the thing that I said. And it's yep. like, okay, good, I got you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. I've only had like... Well, that I've seen like one YouTube video of someone like criticizing me. And it was like... I'll make one. You make one? Thank yeah. you. But yeah. it, it was this guy who, um, it was, have you guys seen the DDR clip of me? It's like my most viewed clip. 
It's like oh. me going fucking oh. crazy. Oh, yes. the- is this the one about how you're not as good as the kids at the mall? Yeah. So this yeah. this guy, like, he was like, oh, like, I don't know why she so- gets so many viewers. Like, I've seen people that are way better. But at the beginning of the video, for some reason, I, I, he was like doing a skit, but he printed out a picture of me, put it on a waffle, put syrup on it, then ate it. Why did he do that? So, I like, is this a compliment know. or like a hate video? Because, like, you could look at it both ways. It's got to be something. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? It means he's a fucking idiot. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I did learn something about myself, though. What's that? Uh, I've had a I've had a recent overwhelming amount of positive comments about me. Why? I can't handle it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I cannot handle it at really? all. Why? Uh, I I think it's a lot easier for people just to say oh, this guy's a fucking dickhead, right? Because yeah. then I get to go live and just you know do my thing. Mm-hmm. I'll be real. I think it's funny. Yeah. To fuck with you're people. Like, well, it's like whenever react. you're at the bottom. Yeah. Everything's fine, but if you're up, if you're up high, the only way to go is down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't really. Yeah. I don't really want people to give me those at an yeah. overwhelming it's amount. Fine. A lot of people aren't, don't really care to get compliments. Yeah, I think I'm just. I think I'm cool just being a dick. I think I like that because you know what it is. I feel like it's just weird when people expect you to hang out with your friends and you not to shit talk each other. I don't know if that's normal, but that's how all of my friend groups have always gone. Me and like all of my closest friends say the most diabolical shit to each other constantly. I think it's boring if you never banter. Yeah. I, I, most people banter with their friends. That's normal. Yeah, I, that's what I think. I, mean, I usually have to hide my power level a lot, even around people that kind of know me. Yeah. Because you, you were here that, you know, we, we were making some jokes before the show. <laughs> and that was just probably better off nobody hears that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just better off that, that 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 stays between us. Yeah. So yeah, I, I try to keep that very, very minimal. I, I'm hoping the internet lets us unleash our power level a little oh, bit Oh, people more. have been getting a little bit more crazy on the internet recently. Yeah. I really think so. People have been actually collectively losing their fucking minds. Yeah. And now, a word from our sponsors. Attention, steak and eggs enjoyers. I have an urgent announcement. Today's sponsor is none other than Marvel Strike Force. You haven't heard the news. Marvel Strike Force is a mobile action RPG game where you can battle it out with your favorite squad of superheroes and super villains. That's right. You can build a team from hundreds of character options within the Marvel Universe. That's crazy. Throughout your battles, you'll level up your characters and complete campaign missions to unlock gear and resources. The game features turn-based combat, so you'll actually have to use some good old-fashioned strategy to beat increasingly difficult missions. But if single-player doesn't suit your style, not to worry. You can PvP in other game modes such as Alliance War and Real-Time Arena instead. Whether you want to complete raids with other players or simply battle head-to-head, MSF has got it. This is breaking! Throughout the anniversary, you can earn special skins, other rewards by completing weekly events? So be sure to log in each day to maximize your bonuses. Oh my God! You can even get tons of free stuff just by signing up with our link in the description. Use the promo code down below to get most out of this limited time in-game event. Thanks again to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring today's podcast. I, I saw also uh, Rooster Teeth fell apart. I didn't hear about this. They're dead. They're done. They're it's actually over. just over. Why are people uh, acting like they care? Well, I mean, because it's like, that's what happens whenever somebody dies. It's like, oh, gone too soon. It's like, bitch, you didn't even like him. Yeah, sure. Hasn't up. Rooster Teeth been like, kind of corporate and like, not really a thing? Yeah, last time I, I, like I heard everybody was years. furious in like the past like six years. Yeah. I mean, I, I know a lot of people liked Ruby. I never watched it. I never watched that show. Yeah, I mean, there was like a game based off of that I thought it was pretty good in VR. But other than that, I mean, like, did, did, was, was Ray, Rooster Teeth, were they red versus blue? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was, they were cool like 20 years ago. Yeah, 20, I thought yeah. that they like got bought out and became kind of corporate and like they were just kind of doing some stuff. But, that was like, my impression I, too. I never really heard about them. Everybody was like mad and they were blaming it all on Warner Brothers. They said, I can't believe Warner Brothers shut them down. I said, bitch, look at the views. Like this <laughs> has 10,000 views. This has 30,000 views. You really think they're going to have all studios set up for this? This is terrible. Yeah. And so the truth is like, it's because... People stop watching the content. I feel like this it's happens that multiple times. Like with Smosh too. Remember Smosh got oh, yeah. They're like, oh, we're just going to take your channel with 50 million subs and put other people on it. Then it's like, well, you're not the people that we were watching yeah. for. So yeah, that's not like the point. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know how companies think that's going to work at well, all. Well, the it, the reason why is because the people that make the decisions are fucking stupid. Yeah. And yeah, that's really what it comes down to. They don't understand media. They don't understand the internet. Or the media that they do understand is 1970s television. Back the last time they were relevant and, you know, like new to things. And yeah, look at this. Right, and so you see 36,000 views. What is that title? Dude. Not our goodbye stream. What is that? I don't know. It's Not apparently all Why do I think together. that was OTK? <clears throat> That's fucked up. This is, our, this is our future. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get bought out and be replaced by uh -huh. a bunch of people 10 years older than us. Yep. That'd be so cool though. Can you imagine if OTK got bought out and they just replaced all of us with people that are like five to 10 years older? No, so no I wouldn't even have to do anything. They replaced us all with fifth graders. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no one could tell the difference. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Same takes. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like I just see the the views and everything. Apparently, <laughs> I don't really know what happened with Rooster Teeth, like why it fell off. I remember they had like this big controversy maybe two years ago, mm. but I didn't really read like why or what it was or anything like that. But it is it is definitely like, yeah, it's like, you know, that's just the way it goes, right? I mean... How much would you sell your channel for? What? How much would you sell your channel for on YouTube? Which one? Main one, Asmund Gold. TV? Yep. Well, I don't know. I mean, I sell it, sure, because I just make another one. Exactly. Make videos over there, yeah. So how, how many, how much, what would be your number? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I would sell mine for $2 million. For $2 million? $2 million. Okay. How many subs do you have? 800,000. I'm almost there. I have 700,000. There you go. Yeah, you've been farming with the shorts. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Like, I need to do that too, actually. Yeah, shorts are doing okay on my Did channel. Did you see your most popular short was one of me? Recently, Damn. but my most popular yeah. one is uh, me in Japan and some guy proposed to so, me. So oh, yeah. do you think it's better to have shorts on your main channel? I honestly don't fuck. I feel like it depends on if you post the kind of stuff that would farm on shorts. If you're going to post shorts and are going to get not a lot of views, then no. But a lot of my shorts content does really well. I only told my editor to start, start uploading shorts because I would open TikTok and see other accounts that aren't mine posting my shit. They'd be like, oh, Emru clips daily. And they're getting like 5 million views. I'm like, mm -hmm. why am I not doing this? That's so insane. I, I told my editor, just post what they're posting. Maybe I, maybe I should post the shorts that other people are posting on TikTok that make me look like a fucking dumbass yeah. that are getting hundreds of thousands of views. And I should just post well, those. You should. And another thing is most of the time when people come up to me, and recognize me, they're not like, I watch your streams, they're like, oh, I see your YouTube shorts all the time. And I was like, I'm not the one posting the shorts. <laughs> so. That's cool. How much would you sell your channel for? How much would I sell it? Yep. You can, re you can remake one immediately. It'd be one or two million. One or two? Yeah. I think you shoot higher. I think you do five. Well, that, that's like my baseline, one or two. Okay. Do you have a number? No. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's like, I'll just take it for free. Yeah. You, would it, you give away your channel for free? No. Can I have your channel? Well, I mean, I kind of <laughs> did. I did restart the channel like two times. What so does that I, mean, restarted it? Well, like, so I had Zach Rar, and then I got rid of it, and I made Asmongold. And then I got rid of Asmongold, and then I had Asmongold TV, and that's what I have now. And I just and restarted. why did you do that? Uh, I don't know. Is that, is that legit just it? Well, I mean, like, so the first channel I had, like, I, I got rid of that one because I couldn't really monetize on it because I had, like, a bunch of, like, stuff on it for, like, different reasons I couldn't monetize. That is so vague. Well, yeah. I mean, primarily it was just things that were bad, like TOS things, and then also um, a lot of copyrighted material. Oh, okay. Like music and stuff like that from, like, just old videos I did. So that's actually the reason. Yeah, you're big into the rap game. Into the what? To the rap game. What? Why do you say that? Because you blast Where the Hood at whenever you go live on Twitch. Oh, yeah. 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 I used to listen to that back when I was a kid. Dude, I... Absolutely. I recently got into that. Like, really? a couple weeks ago. And I don't know where this has been my whole life. Well, like, I started playing it because DMX died. And so, I just started playing it as an intro for the song. Yeah. But people loved it so much that it just became the norm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the Where the Hood at is so good. Especially with the mod check. Hood mm -hmm. is so good. Wait, do, do you know that? Do you know what mod check is? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been uh, into a uh, Notorious B.I.G. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck, Emmy. Have you listened to that shit? I have, but I, I can't think of a song off the top I've of been head. getting into a fuck ton of uh, Biggie and uh, Tupac. Yeah? My God. That shit is so fucking good. Uh, dude, it, it, I, was, I was literally sitting in my car, 
because I haven't touched grunge because I, I usually listen to grunge constantly or like some weep shit. But I, I have been listening to exclusive like 1990s hip hop for like three weeks straight, bro. It's insane. Like the songs they make, there's some of them that are so fucking relatable. Like uh, uh, Party and Bullshit by Biggie Smalls. Have you heard that shit? I'm pretty sure I would recognize that. That's a fucking, dude, Biggie, he just, he has a way with fucking words, man. Oh my God. Well, like a lot of music back then is good. I mean, I, I remember like hip hop back then was much more lyrical. And like everybody says nowadays, have you listened to a lot of rap nowadays where they're just like mumbling and blubbering around? Like, it's like, what are they even, what are they even saying? Like, what even is this? Like, I'll be honest, I don't really care about that that much. Like, I think some of it's okay, actually. It doesn't yeah. really bother me, but it's still really funny to see. Yeah. Like, I, I will not listen to songs about sex at all. Why? I just, I just don't care. I think it's cringe. Like, oh, okay. dude, I have sex with eight women. Oh, in that pussy, I'd be swimming. Like, I don't care. <laughs> if it sounds good, I'm going to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't that care simple. What I just find it weird. Like, or, or like when a, when a chick talks about how great their pussy is, it's like, okay, good. Oh, there's like three of those on the radio right now. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, great, bro. I don't care. Yeah. I, the, I like the songs where it's like, People who succeed in spite of everyone saying they won't, or when people rap about how fucking dope they are, like yeah. uh, like like Post Malone, congratulations. Yeah, I love that song. That shit is so good, bro. I don't know. Shit like shit about like underdogs, like ego shit. Ego shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ego shit. Like I'm the fucking best, bro. Yeah. Fuck all the rest. Chop up their heads, take their corpse in a nest. Shit like that. Jesus. So I good. like that. Yeah, yes. that's a good start. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Okay. I'll eat their parents in the face. <laughs> Yeah, it's talking about blowing shit up too and just like shooting motherfuckers for no reason. Whoa. It's like, <laughs> Whoa, it's, but it, Whoa. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm gonna be honest. Like, so yeah. I used to play Call of Duty a lot and yeah. I, I would always use like the really big truck and run people over. Mm -hmm. And I did it so much that whenever I was driving in real life, I would see somebody on the side of the road. I would <laughs> think to myself, could I get them? <laughs> Oh my God, the moms were right about Every video games. Every fucking person. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm like, there's no way they could get away if I tried to go for them. Oh, uh, dude, I, I, do, I do the same shit where I look at people and I'm like, ooh, plus five points. Yeah. But I'll never do it. Right. <laughs> I mean, what's something horrible that you shouldn't say? Something horrible that I yeah. shouldn't yeah. say? When you're driving your car, what are the thoughts you have? Well, I just, you guys made me remember this moment. This is actually just like so fucking pathetic. This is like when I was like in peak league degeneracy. Yeah. And like, uh, what the fuck happened? Someone almost swerved into my car and I like reacted kind of late, but I still missed it. And my late reaction made me like, oh, this is why you're not masters in league. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but they didn't hit you though, right? No, but my, they almost did. Oh, I, yeah. I should have reacted more quickly. Oh uh, dude, I had, I had a similar moment of that. I don't know, like two weeks ago, this guy just started like swerving into me and I react like God tier reflexes. Mm -hmm. I dodge him, avoid a car crash, and then I just say, Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, bro, I am fucking lame. Oh, crazy. man. I miss Nick. What happened to that guy? Is he, is, he still, is he still around? I think he's still in town, right? I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I have yeah. no idea. Does he stream still? No, he hasn't streamed in a while. What a good guy. That's smart. Yeah, I mean, I saw something about uh, Maloinky coming back soon, but... I heard that too, but I think it's like so, not... Yeah, Milena's going to come back. Like Basically, Nick is just on vacation until Milena can come carry the stream again. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah. Hey. That's good. Decent enough. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool. Maybe we'll invite... It would be cool if we brought his uh, extra girlfriends out too for the next stream. Oh, the other ones? Yeah, all three. Yeah. Cooking stream. Uh, interesting. Do you think coffee would taste good if you, instead of sugar you used Dr. Pepper or Coke? No. I've never had coffee in my life. What? I'll tell you. There's no reason to. First of all, you should try. It's good. It is good. Why would you do that if you could have Dr. Pepper? I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't try new things because I'm happy with the things that I have. Yeah, and I respect that. Yeah? That's a awesome, lot. Because yeah. I don't do that. You'll never be bored with life. I really like new things. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've been doing this thing where I go to restaurants and I just say, what's your favorite thing? To the waiter. And, and then, then I just you get just that order that? It. Yep. Or if I go with a new person, I'm like, what are you going to get? I'll have that. Yeah. It's like, I get to feel... I would never do that. Same. I get I get bored. I try new stuff. Wow. That's really fucking good. Yeah, but drink it for like a little bit. Because like, I remember there was one time I got a thing of Pringles and then I ate like three of them. I thought they were really good. But by 10, I thought it was terrible. 
So you should drink it for a bit longer because sometimes there's like a new effect of it. Like, oh, wow, this is cool. But then like after time goes on, it's like, actually, this kind of sucks. Ew. No, yeah. That's good. That's good, good. Yeah, I think, is there, is that a thing? Is Dr. Pepper coffee, a coffee no, a thing? No, that's not a thing. I know Pepsi coffee is a thing. I've never fucking yeah, it's like Have y'all ever gone to a store and gotten two drinks at the same time? Yeah. Yes, and then mix them. And then you drink them like, like this? Oh, I've done that, yeah. Okay, good. I Which, mean, what two? When I was what in like two? third grade. Probably like a lemonade and like a soda. Okay. For me, it was probably just Code Red and then like a Pepsi. Okay. Yeah, I do that at Taco Bell sometimes. Code Red, Pepsi, good. Pepsi and Baja Blast. Baja yeah, Blast, good. That's right. Slurpee and See, an energy drink. I would have gotten a Baja Blast, but they don't sell that shit in stores, at least back in the day. Now they do. Walked into a store the other week with Emmy. I saw zero sugar Baja Blast, bro. I almost I almost exploded out of excitement. That it's just so, so fucking good. I don't know how people drink energy drinks, man. Like, I've never wanted one in my life. Um, I've never gotten into it. They're good for people who can handle it, but uh, I'll be real. When I drink energy drinks, uh, it makes that my shit heart makes me want to kill myself. Yep. Why? It it hurts your heart, and it fucks up your brain. And like, guys, why would I drink an energy drink when I can drink gamer subs? Is that right? That's so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> that is so I've actually true. been doing combos. Yeah, I've been doing. So a, I've been doing Baja or uh, Shy Lily's Blowhole Blast with uh, Lean. Yeah. Lean. Yep. It's good. It's good, good. I see you oh not. My God. Dude, I'm telling you, you, you if, you wanna, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to lock the fuck in, okay? 18 ounces of water, two scoops of lean, one scoop of Shiley's Blowhole oh, Blast. Oh, I thought you were talking about oh, cough syrup. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, yeah I thought you were having it with cough syrup. Oh, yeah, codeine. <laughs> There's like gamers up flavor called lean. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That I, was, uh, no, I yeah. was thinking the same fucking thing. Yeah, I was like, okay, damn. You ever like, tried lean? Have I tried lean? Like, yeah, the, the, the like gamer chefs. No. Oh, uh, yeah, it tastes like uh, Arnold Palmer's. Okay. It's good as fuck. Half, uh, half tea, half lemonade. Uh -huh. Really fucking good. But uh, yeah, just, and then if you start getting anxiety, just start slamming fucking water uh, if you can't handle it because it's 300 milligrams of caffeine. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's very hard to promote gamer subs without sounding like I'm shilling because I actually do drink the product every fucking day. Yeah. Uh, but it's very hard to be like, guys, I love this flavor, even though I did it before I was sponsored too. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be what it'd be. You should drink that shit though. I mean, viewers are just used to shilling at this point. As that long, is really as, long good, as it's not disingenuous, I, don't, I really don't think people care. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering. So, follow up from last week, we were talking about the Queen Pones a lot, the blind monster hunter thing. Yeah. And then uh, we were saying like, oh, we hope it's real. Hope there's a follow up. But I I know that like kind of more stuff happened, or she like disappeared. So she deleted people, all like, of her socials more? and everything, and she's totally gone. Uh, people were harassing her. It's like it, it's hard to have a conversation about something on the internet. Whenever people always take it too far. What they do know? to her? <clears throat> what? What they do to her? I don't know, like doxing her, like just harassing her, stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like general good. bad stuff, right? Yeah. And like, I'm not really sure exactly like how much of it really happened because I didn't see it myself. But that was at least the explanation that I mean, was all given. All it really takes is like one person doxing someone to scare them, especially a smaller creator. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Like I feel like those are the things that you like don't do on the internet. You should be should, should be very frowned upon. Doxing should I think be frowned that, upon. I, I think that people generally agree on that. Yeah, I there's think only a handful of people that, that don't. I mean, the people yeah. that do it's because they like want to be edgy. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. like, like swatting should be frowned upon. What is one of the like faux pas that people do that aren't entirely like frowned upon? That should be, in your opinion. In, like in streaming? Or like, like in let's say two content creators have drama. What are some things they shouldn't do? Like, I don't feel like if you're in a content creator beef with someone else, I don't feel like you should go after their family. And I also, I'm not a fan. It depends with on if they made me mad or not. Okay. I mean, if somebody fucks with me, like if, if you fuck with me and I can, I will. Okay. Yep. Would you go after sponsors? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It depends on why. Yeah, I don't like going. I don't like going after sponsors either. I feel like that's <clears> weird. <throat> I think I, that is weird because the intention yeah. is mm -hmm. only to make them lose money. Yeah, well, that would be the goal, right? Of course, yeah, it would. I, yeah. I mean, if you're like, quote unquote, exposing someone anyway, their sponsor's probably going to see it. Why do you have to like? Yeah, I think I think it's make fine. It worse. I think it's fine to go after their content and go after who they are as <clears> a mm -hmm. person. But when you AOE effect, yeah, that sucks. Unless you're going also after their content creator buddies because they're involved. Sure, I can probably get it sometimes, but I think it's just like stick to the two who are fighting. 
I generally, opinion. this is the thing, is if people want to take the high road, I'll take the high road. And, you know, we can have a conversation. But if somebody takes the low road, I'll meet you there. Oh, yeah. I've got no <laughs> fucking problem doing I'm, that. I, it's just, it's the, yeah. it's the, it's like, for example, I think, I think. Like, I have no problem calling somebody fat. Yes. This is totally fine with me. You're insulting the way they look. I love doing that. I'll have a million bad things 100%. to say. And guess what? I bet they've got a lot to say about me too. Oh, I, I have something that I don't like that people do. Okay. Yeah. content creator drama. I don't, I don't like when, so say someone's getting accused of something, yeah. right? And they, they post like a response or something. I don't like when other large creators jump down below who don't know what's happening to like say their opinion and form Holy interaction. Holy fuck. Like if, if they're involved and they know what's going on, then sure. <coughs> but I see so many times other big content creators who aren't related at all will just jump down Damn, to like farm crazy. interactions. For no fucking reason. Okay, well, you, it's different <laughs> for some reason. I feel like it's different because Asmin doesn't try to act like he's like this morally superior person. No, quite the opposite. No, but here's, here's a lot it. of people who do that do it to act morally superior. But when have you talked about a situation that you didn't actually know about? I don't think I've ever seen you talk. Maybe well, it I'm depends, wrong. right? I mean, like, it depends on how much I don't know about. Like, I mean, there are spectrums of not knowing. Like, yeah. usually I will try to inform myself about a topic yeah. before I really talk about it or get into it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's been instances where I didn't have a lot of information, but that's usually because it sure. just happened. Right? I think that situation that you described, I don't think Asmund has ever done that, personally. Well, I don't think I've ever seen two... It's a little different because yeah. what I'm talking about is people that try to, like... Morally grand. She's stand, talking I guess. about Minecraft YouTubers. Okay, yeah. guys, you know it. I know it. Everybody knows I mean, it. it hasn't There's been a lot of them nowadays, them, huh? But okay, well, I didn't think I didn't think that's what we were talking about. Okay, well, so now I mean we're that's here. just. I, I mean, that, I, it's, I guess it's that has recent happened example. recently. It's happened. It happens a lot. Like yeah. A fucking lot. There's what a, is it about that game? Yeah. What it's is it about? It's, it's about yeah, that what, game. Why is it when adults play a children's game, shit just gets weird? It's a weird, just you know? a weird little situation. I just it's like, it's like, bro, it's like you're a popular young guy. Why yeah. you got to date the people that are in high school still? <laughs> or like fresh out of, like, you could probably get almost any girl you want that's like in the same interests as you. Why you got to date the teenagers? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm of a firm policy for me. I'm 30. Uh, I don't think I don't think I want to date anybody below 26. 25 yeah. is pushing it. Uh, cuz like okay, what am I going to talk to a 22 year old about? Oh man. TikTok. Dr. Yeah. Lex at college, he gave me another homework assignment and Becky was really mean to me when we were doing our group project. I don't fucking care, bro. Like I just Well, I you just, have to give her advice like how to sabotage Becky and make sure that she <laughs> fails yeah. the class. And then yeah, how to destroy her career. Oh yeah. You know, because like you have more experience with that, right? That's very true. It's simple. I can't believe that there are people who go to school and just like don't cheat. Yeah. That's insane to me. Like actually just going and doing yeah, your like, assignment. You don't even like go on like spark notes or something. Like a lot of people consider that cheat. Like they don't yeah, exactly. Google anything. Like actually just some guy is out there reading the textbook in length. Preparing for a quiz. Like, what a fucking loser, dude. Like, just cheat. It's so easy. Why would you not? I would I would read the whole thing. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. I would. Because, like, I wouldn't you're read a book. But, but then later, I wouldn't when you're read doing a book. homework, you, if you, like, there was one answer you don't remember, you'd probably just Google it, right? No. What? I mean, because if I did you. that, then I would get it wrong in the in the test. And so, like, for me, the way that I would decide whether I would cheat on something or not is I would extrapolate the probability that I would have to solve this problem Bro, in this the future. Is, this is irrelevant because this guy had like a 1.3 GPA. Oh yeah, you suck at school. I actually had a four in, in college. Oh really? And a 3.8. Oh yeah, you yeah. went to college. Well, well, what, well, what college? I don't say. Oh, I'll tell you okay. It was a four-year university. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I did go to a community college though. At the four-year university, I never got anything less than an A. Yeah, Austin, Austin uh, right. Community College is actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, was, that's the one that yeah. I went to. I went yeah. there for a little bit. It was pretty good. You went to college here? Yep. For like I never, half I a never year. I knew that. Yeah. I, I went to college in Canada. For some I did reason. as well. Oh. Well, yeah, right. I went to the U.S. I did New Mexico. I did Austin. And I did London, Ontario. It was good. I much prefer Canadian college. Uh, yeah, you having a 4.0 in college is uh, shocking to me. You didn't cheat at all. To be fair, it was a 3.8 and sure. I only had a 4.0 in business exclusive classes. Oh, yes, yeah, so the ones that you gave a fuck the about. The ones that matter. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Yeah. Would you I agree. A, a B in or C, whatever? Um, Probably like what, math? Let me try to remember. No, 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 I... 
maybe one of the account. I think my first accounting class, which was like, I don't think the first accounting class was an official business class. I got a B in it. And then I didn't really figure it out until the second time around. What's 17 times nine? 17 times nine? Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. That would be 153. Yeah. Nice. Good shit. I mean, what's 18 times three? 18 that, times what? Three. Oh, come <laughs> the fuck on. Uh, 104? 18. Yeah, that's about right. 18 times three? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's 54. Oh, I was doing the wrong number. I was about to say, yeah. holy fuck, am I, I having a no, I, I think I was doing 24 right times three. Okay. Anyways, math. I love it, dude. It's good shit. Yeah. So you never like, you never cheated in college at all because like- I, I would, would only, no, no, no. So like I had a logic to this, right? Because of course it's, it was of course not ideological. Yeah. The only reason I didn't cheat is because it would not work in my advantage. So the reason why I didn't is because there were a lot of things that I couldn't like, so if I cheated in accounting and then yes. I'm in the test, I can't cheat in the test. So then I lose. So Why I can't you cheat the test? Well, because I'm taking the test in the, in the building, in the classroom. And so like, I can't just pull out my phone and start looking things up. Well, that's why you like have other means to do that. Well, yeah, you can put the information in a calculator, but like, even yeah. if you do that, cause like I did make formulas and things mm. like that and like programs and a calculator to do it. Mm. But many of the other things I was not able to do. Yeah, uh, and, and, I, and like, so I would basically, whenever I decided whether I was going, going to cheat at something or not, I went basic, based off of, will I have to do this without the aid of cheating in the future? Yes. And so, like, for example, I That's had, a like, good way to go I had literature it. classes and I read Catcher in the Rye three times and I never read it. Yeah. I, I have no idea yep. what happened in the book, but I just would look up the spark notes and that was it. I also can't imagine people actually being like, you need to read To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> and then the oh, I didn't read to that one either. Yeah, I didn't read that a lot one. Of those, like, That's insane. I think my senior year in my literature class, the last like three books, I didn't read them. I just used Spark Notes. I didn't even do and that. I, I passed the test just using re setting off Spark Notes. Yeah, it's the best, man. I didn't even do that. I remember she passed out a progress report in like high school of like how much each different thing in your grade was going to be. Yeah. And I did the math, and I said. I'm going to get a literal zero in this and I'll get a 100 and everything else and I'll get an 80. Problem solved. Yep. That's exactly what happened. For me, Welcome. it was, I would cheat on anything that I didn't want to do. Yeah. Right? Like if there's a test or like, like if they make me do basics, like English, math, I don't care. But if I take a psychology, a sociology, an acting course, I'll fucking do it. Because that's the thing I want to do. I, I, I feel like the American school system, and I don't want to get, I don't even know if it's political or not. It's just so fucking bad. And it, it pisses me off every day. This is going to be the thing that I'm going to be angry about for years Whenever and years. Whenever you're like 75, yeah, you're going to be one of those guys. It's just annoying. Like there's, there's no fucking reason for school to be as miserable as it is. And I feel like it's almost insulting to the kids who are having to learn this shit that, and I mean this genuinely, you are not going to use 95% of what you learn in school. Genuinely. You're there to, to make social interaction and understand how to sell yourself and meet other people and communicate. Like you're not going to use the math. Okay, you might use a little bit of addition, like, oh, I got three bananas and each one costs a dollar seventy. That means it's five dollars and ten cents. Do I have that? No, I only made eight dollars and I already spent four of that on gumballs. Right? Sure, you might do that, but like fucking social studies, you're not gonna care. Science, you're not gonna care. Genuinely, genuine I want to ask a genuine question. When the fuck was the last time you were like, oh shit, thank God I learned this chemistry? Um in real life. I'm trying to think. Probably when I was on school, I yeah. remembered a periodic table yeah. element. You got that one. That's yeah. it. The yeah. nitrogen. Yeah. <laughs> like, genuine question. It's fucking pointless. Well, I mean, to me, like, there are always going to be little ways that, like, I, I, I actually am a big advocate of, like, education. I think kids should be educated. They should know things. But there's a priority list. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you're teaching a kid algebra two, you're not teaching them statistics in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. And... Statistics is more important than algebra, in my mm. opinion. I think it is, especially deep algebra. Yeah, well, What's the difference between deep? I don't think deep... I've ever used algebra too. What is deep after... algebra? Huh? What is deep algebra? Like dividing fractions, dividing oh, algebraic okay. equations, like yeah, things sure. like that. Yeah. Like that. Well, I, I have used it, but you only use it in like video games. Yep. It's actually still not even in real life. Yep. I feel like addition, important to learn. Subtraction, important to learn. Multiplication, uh, very important. Division, I think, like, sure, fine. You yeah. can get away with that, Fractions, I guess. Yeah. Percents. 
Yeah. Because then, then, like, you know, if you want to know, like, oh, this room's four, bo- four foot by five feet, what, how big is the area then for, for 20, four Nobody times five? Nobody knows. Yep. You can right. never figure it out. But, like, well, you I hire once, somebody to do that. I once agree. I, I one million percent agree that education is so important. My, my, my way to cope with it is yeah. I think, okay, so we, we force kids to learn this shit they don't give a fuck to give them the capacity to learn and pay attention even when things aren't interesting to See, them. See, I don't agree with that. Okay. I don't like that mindset because okay. if you teach kids things they don't give a fuck about, all they're going to learn is to not give a fuck about it. That's all it's going to be. It could, right? it could have so, both effects. Yeah, it's yeah. Like you, yeah, you give people the ability to have to you know, look at algebra too. Like I remember everybody was cheating in that class. Like yep. nobody knew anything in that class. That shit was so, that was bad. Yep. That was really bad. I, I really feel like we are in the era where schoolings could be advanced. And this is something yeah. that I actually, I want to look into it. Cause like there's things that I want to make. I, I want to well, make. Like now every kid apparently has like a Chromebook and they've got like a. Yeah, which I think is great. They've got a, a laptop and everything. I think and that's apparently great. the kids just like, I heard just sit there in class and look up the answers to everything and they don't learn anything. Yeah, or they like figure out how to get games on that shit. Yeah. But the thing is, the thing is, are the things they're cheating on things they needed to learn? That's that's what I I'm wondering. Probably. You know? That's that's how I cope with it. Right. I think that it is a problem. And I will give an example. Okay. Emmy, do you remember whenever I asked somebody what eight times eight was? Sixty four. Mm-hmm. That was very unsettling. Who'd you ask eight times eight? Somebody. I hate that guy. Yes. Wait, what? I'm confused now. Whenever we were at the, uh, at S fan's house? At S fan's house? Wait, who'd you ask? Am I allowed to say? No. I wouldn't say. <laughs> um, I think I know who it is, but I'm... Yeah. Okay, anyway, yeah, go and on. And so, it's like, if you don't know what eight times eight is... I think that you're going to have some problems. I agree. Because you will get finessed and you'll get people to take advantage of you. Sure. How do I know this? Because whenever I used to do GDKP and WoW, I learned how to do the math really, really fast. Yep. And because I can do it so fast, I can also do it the right way and then take my part off of the top and then do it wrong in a way that seems right. And so I got more money and everybody else got fucked over. Good, fuck them. Well, 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 here's the thing. You don't want to be the guy getting fucked over. Right. So you've got to know how to do math. you got to know what eight times eight is. Right, so learn the important stuff. And the other shit that doesn't matter, don't learn it. What's uh, the square root of 169? There's, it's a prime number. No, it's 13. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Of 69? 169. 169. Square root, 13. Say. Or I just did the math very wrong. Pretty sure I, I did think it right. That's right. I'm pretty sure it's right. 13 times 13. It should be 169. Um, you know what? I think actually you are right. Oh, okay, cool. I was just thinking about. 13 is 169. Well, because 13 times 10 is 130 yeah. plus 39. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's you know. crazy. Wow. Yeah. Damn, I thought it was prime number four. Uh, that's all right. Math. You got I it. love it. Yeah. Dang. But that's why I feel like what should happen is. It's a good one. Kids, every. Every, you know how they have the report card, first quarter, yeah. second quarter, third quarter, quarter? I feel like each quarter, they should be allowed to choose in three subjects that they want to specialize in and demo each thing out rather than just English, science, math, social studies. Like, sure, do that. But then also have three specialization courses. Cut back on the frivolous knowledge that we don't need to learn. I, I think that kids should just have to do everything in groups and have to interact with other kids. Like, that's the only thing I learned in school yeah. is how to get along with people. I'll be real. That's it. Dude, I have almost never had a good group project. Yeah. Because all my teammates just wouldn't do shit and I would just solo it. And well, it was yeah, terrible. but you get to learn that, right? Yeah, I did learn. Yeah, yeah, you do. And like, I think that's, that's what school is the most important for is like, I would want my kid to go to a public school. It's like, you're going to have to deal with people in real life that aren't <laughs> part of this like, you know, special curated group. The, this is the public. This is the world. And you're going to go learn how to live in it, you know? Public school is miserable, Absolutely. Oh my God, it's so bad. It is miserable, but there are good things and you learn things about it. I liked public school. I I did too. I I think it really depends on which public school you went to. Because I went to like- for sure, for sure. I went to very dangerous ones. And it was like, every time I was going to school, I was like, okay, am I going to die today? I'll I'll even say where it was. It was was in El Paso, Texas. And there was a high school called Chapin High School. And oh my God, it was horrifying. 
oh, I did not enjoy that one bit. That shit was scary as fuck. Like, okay, I would fuck with people a lot, right? But like, when you go into a bathroom, <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever did this. Uh, did we talk about this? I can't remember. Maybe we talked about this. When you go into a bathroom in a public school and then you turn off the light and then you like grab the people's ankles and then you like pull them out or like grab their ankles when the lights are off in the bathrooms. You no. never did those pranks? We uh we did other stuff like that. Like grab the wet paper towel and throw it, throw on, it on their fucking face. Throw it like well you could throw it and like it would explode and then yeah. hit them and, and whenever they're taking yeah. a shit. Or like, yeah. You never you never done the, yeah. the ketchup packets underneath the toilet. I'm not a man. What did what did women do to fuck with each other? Just to fuck just, with each other. Yeah, yeah, just just like say oh this chick's a slut. <laughs> yeah, most mostly that. <laughs> Mostly just like, you know, shit talking. Yeah. Like, I don't remember any like bathroom problems. We never had the, the problems that like the men would have or the boys. The men. Like you'd hear mm -hmm. like, oh, the, the boys bathroom's closed because someone smeared shit on the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> someone <laughs> fucking dunk the sink and it's detached from the wall now. Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. pipes are leaking everywhere. Uh, someone shit in There's the urinal paper again. Towel, wet paper towels all over the floor. So it's closed now and they can't go there without a, a fucking teacher. Yeah, a teacher would have to escort you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then, oh, we had that. The girls, we would just go in our, our own bathroom it's like oh, that's what, fine. what is what is a woman's bathroom like clean do you know I, what I a remember, urinal is have you seen a urinal i've seen a urinal yeah but okay so that's what i was gonna say is i remember one instance in school where the girls bathrooms were closed for some reason like there's something wrong with the pipes or something so we would have to like use the boys bathroom at certain times was it scary and i was like it, it was like so different like the boys bathroom just looked older because it had been so like worn and dirty and not taken care of yep. so ours look cleaner and newer usually I have, a, I have a very interesting question for you guys do you guys prefer when the seat's cold or when it's warm I don't really care I, I've never thought about this really <laughs> yeah no. I don't really care I love going to the bathroom <laughs> immediately after someone so it's preheated okay is that weird? Yes. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> I don't like the cold seat. Yeah. I hate it. It then shivers up my spine. It makes my balls shrivel up. Really? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Like, I don't really care. And it's like I never solidarity. think about it. Yeah. yeah. It is like solidarity. Solidarity? Yeah, oh I'm my like, hey, God. Man. Apes together strong. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, dude, me and my, you know, you know Jimmy? Yeah. We had a, we had a, there was a, there was a, we went to a Japanese sushi restaurant where they had two toilets in the same stall next to each other with no barriers. You could hold hands. We did. <laughs> That's cute. We got a photo of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's dope, dude. It's just <laughs> wild. I don't know, man. I, I feel like I feel like I'm not crazy. Okay, hey, guys, leave a comment. You like the seat cold? You like the seat warm? Where are we at, guys? I will admit, when I have to wipe the piss off of someone else's toilet bowl. I hate that shit. That's another thing. I have never experienced that well, in yeah. my entire what? life. Well, yeah. You think about like the anatomy, like it probably wouldn't happen. I have, I have a female roommate. She pisses on the seat all the time. How? Man. Huh? How? She misses. Man. That's, She's not going to be happy that you said that. that I mean, sucks. you're probably lying. To <laughs> 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 I wonder who it could be, Dan. Yeah, that's wow. really, that's which, really which gross. That's nasty. Oh, wow. Uh, dude, I remember the first time I ever heard uh, a girl. It was, my, it was my brother's wife. First time I ever heard a girl piss. Yeah. It horrified me. Really? Yes. Why? That makes Doesn't sense. Doesn't it sound the same? No. Well, that's the thing is that I didn't expect it to sound the same. I was, I was, I remember where I was. I was 18 years old. I was in the living Jesus room. Jesus Christ. I was attempting to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, <laughs> She yeah. goes to the bathroom. Why it's, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Why don't you play Magic? Because Yu-Gi-Oh was fun. And my homies played Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to play Magic by myself or Yu-Gi-Oh with my friends. You so know? your friends were dumb. They were dumb. They, yeah, yeah, they were Carlos. Smart, very smart. Fuck Couldn't handle pussy. Magic the Gathering. He would, just play, he would just play Black Wings and Sheet. It sounded like a jet engine. What? Yeah, the piss. Very powerful, very oh powerful God. stream. I always because assumed, it's closer to the water surface. Yeah, I, I always assumed it would like dribble out. Yeah? Yeah. So that shit shocked me. And it kind of made me a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. I was intimidating. It's like, that's one of those things that I've never thought about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I've really actually never fucking thought about that even for a second in my life. Well, it's because the louder, yeah. the louder, the louder your piss stream is, the bigger your dick is. That's not true. Yeah, it is. How do you know? <laughs> I'll tell you how. Okay, okay. Because when your dick is bigger. Right. You have a bigger hole. Right. So more piss comes out. 
So it's louder when it hits the when it hits the I mean, toilet. Not necessarily because it's also velocity. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that doesn't that doesn't make. Have sense. you ever heard somebody with a big dick have a weak 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 piss stream? I don't know. I didn't come in with a ruler and check. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not sure, man. I have no idea. I don't know. Like, I, yeah. like all I'm saying. Listen, mm-hmm. I don't even know how the fuck do we even get onto this. Uh, you said so. What are you talking you? like about the the, the fucking bath? It's so. Gr- oh my god. I don't know. All I was saying was that actually disgusting. Yeah. So, it is. It is gross, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, this is what. No. Okay. I'm how are you going to come in here and say I haven't showered in three weeks and then say piss streams off the limits? That's gross. Oh okay. I man, I haven't showered because after three months I wasn't dirty. Have I ever made you feel bad about your showering habits, as when I'm just talking about piss stream velocity? Well, I'm not making you feel bad. I mean, well, that's, that's, you know, I, I just thought it was, it was very important yeah. for me to talk about it today, guys. So I, I mean, hope we all learned something. If he felt bad about it, he probably would have showered like years ago. Yeah. The last time. Yeah. Yeah. I've, should, been sh- I've been showering recently. I can tell. Yes. The scent isn't there anymore. Nah, you're full of shit. <laughs> I was talking about you're the other full day. full of shit. I was talking yeah, about the other right. day. You ever been, you've been in Subway? I've been in Subway. You could close your eyes, walk into a Subway, and you would know that you're in Subway. Yeah. That's how it was with you. I closed my eyes like Asin's here. I think he's lying. Guys, he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's just trying to make me look bad. He's trying to make me look bad. I don't <laughs> smell bad. What are you talking about? I'm fucking with you. There's no <laughs> way. There's one hoodie I have that smells bad because <laughs> I haven't washed it since like high school. No, it just makes me but sad. like, that's, that's it. I never checked. That's a nice hoodie. I never checked. I never gave you yeah. the old sniff check, man. So I'll never know. Well, I'm sure it'll happen again. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Some will happen. You should do that. What? Do oh, do a contest. Contest right? with, with what? With another streamer. Yeah. Where you go, you see who can go the longest without showering. Well, it'd be me. Yeah. That'd be easy. I would. How long do you think you can go? How long can I go without showering? Yeah. Like, well, what do you mean? Like, how long can I go? Like, until I finally break in half the shower? <laughs> yeah, you just start, you're in the middle of the night. You're just like, I fucking can't do this For shit. For me, probably like two, maybe three days. Yeah. It's bad. Do you get, do you get itchy scalp? I don't. I, I just can't like function if I feel grease on my body. Yeah, same. Ugh. I'll wake up in the middle of that. I'll be itchy. Start scratching myself like crazy. Coming up with like McDonald's, McDonald's fries, oil and all my fucking nails. Yeah, well, fucking well even like, you know, like you wear like deodorant. The deodorant gets like weird after That's a while. That's why you don't yeah. wear it. Don't wear a deodorant. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you don't wear that. Like that's there not natural. I, I experienced uh, something new first time in my life. Some yeah. guy was jealous of me because I was bald. Why? And he had tons of hair. Why? Because people who aren't bald don't, because this is what happened. Okay, so I was in the gym, working out, grinded it. TRT fucking going off, bro. I've gone up on all my lifts by like 50 pounds for like any compound exercise. I've been obliterating the gym. It's been very good. Very happy with it. Uh, I recommend everyone get their testosterone levels checked. It's, it's changed my life 100%. Now I'm even more fucked up. I would never get testosterone because I already get mad enough. Yeah. I don't need anything to make oh, me. Oh yeah, do you get more mad? No, I just get way more out of pocket, and I give way less of a fuck. Oh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. that. Imagine if I did. That would be really bad. <laughs> yeah. That would be the, the test rage. Yeah, that yeah. would be awful. Uh, yeah, I have not been angry a single time yet at all. Oh, yeah. I do like hit my homies a lot more though. Okay. Like play hit, like gorillas. Like like yeah, like like when we're yeah. at the gym, we're like hey, good shit, bro. Yeah, give me a little slap on the back. That's a big slap. Yeah. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, I was going up on my bench, went downstairs, went to the steam room, saw a couple old dudes' dicks, uh, yeah. came out, felt insane, felt like Colgate toothpaste. And then me and my homie went to go dry off. And then afterwards, we butter up, which is where we take the moisturizer, yeah. rub it on ourselves. But I rub my shit on my head. And he has crazy dandruff. And he's like, holy shit, you can do that. Because he has to go home. He goes and he gets injections into his scalp. For what? To make it not itch. So he'll get like injected every three months into his fucking scalp to prevent the itch. But like with bald dudes, he's moisturized right fucking on there, bro. It feels insane. Like eucalyptus rub on my scalp feels nuts. It's like, it's like, it's, it's legit. Okay. So every, so here's the thing. Every single time you do an action to yourself, you will grow more numb to it. Right. But if you were to shave your head today, Emmy, okay. which you should, because <laughs> yeah, it's already should. getting there. Yeah. I'm it's, losing it. it's, you've unlocked a new zone. So everything that you do, it will feel like the first time ever. It's insane. Like, because all of this is completely numbed down from the past 26 years. Head, been there for like four. So everything feels insane. 
Like did it you, feels When nuts. you shaved your head, yeah. did you have long hair the first time you shaved it? Uh, no, I buzzed it first. Because the closest I've done is I cut off three feet of hair. What yeah. the and fuck? Then, so my hair was up here. Oh my God, it felt so fucking crazy. Yep. I mm -hmm. kept like touching my head like, oh yep. my God. Yeah. yeah, I had some real fucking short hair. Like You should, you should do ago. something crazy. Oh, wow. I've been thinking about it, but I, I'm like scared to change my like, my like look too much because like, of my stream. I don't want to be like unrecognizable. Okay, so here's what you do. So you think if you cut your hair short, people would be like, who the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, they'd be like, who is that? Uh, I yeah. like Demi better whenever she had long hair. <laughs> I don't like the streams anymore. Take a razor. Shave just this part off. Just oh my God, shave like it. like the Skrillex shit. Oh yeah. God. No, Skrillex that shit, I, I, I remember when a lot of people had that hair. Yeah. And people would always ask if I was going to do that because I have like the similar like base haircut and I was always like, nah, I'm so glad I didn't. You should. Because when people grow that shit out, it's like... Pur, pur. But like, I just feel like you got to do something. What are you I thinking know. about? I was thinking about dyeing it, thinking about cutting it. I might just keep letting it fucking grow. What color? Like red or something. If you oh, grow it any fuck. longer, you're going to look like a troll doll. You think so? <laughs> I mean, yeah, to be honest. If it stands up, maybe. Yeah, no, but well, there's no troll dolls where it goes straight down? It does. You can comb it down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's getting long. It's past my waist now. Yeah. How many feet? Three? Mm. How tall are you? Five foot three. It's probably okay. like two and some. Two and some. Yeah. I mean, does that does that thought? Because I know you're gonna get a hair transplant soon. How do you know that? <laughs> well, are you not? <laughs> you just assumed. Um. <laughs> there it is. That's Perfect. Me. That's me. Oh. I mean, I would say, okay, so like if I did it, like I said I would go to a consultation to see what they would say for content because I said, I was like, okay, I'm going to eventually have to do this, right? Because yeah. I promised I would do it. And I haven't done it. Now, will I actually get a hair transplant? I mean, that's kind of a lot to do, you know? That's but a lot. Aren't, how, how expensive is a hair, a it's, good hair, hair transplant? I don't know. Probably like $10,000. Yeah, that's like, what I would assume. Like, I have no idea. It's just like, it's like, it's like a quarter of a Ray Shadow Legend sponsorship. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it's oh, no, it's not about the money. I just yeah. don't know if it's something I would really want to do. Yeah. Like it, it's just like, what if it happens and it looks stupid? Well, then it, then you're even it's even worse. <laughs> well, I've only seen a couple bad hair transplants. I have. Yeah. So only the odds seen are bad hair it, transplants. Yeah. It, the odds you are. Have only seen bad ones. I've, I've never seen a good one. Maybe it's because I'm a since I'm a woman, I can't tell as much when it's fake. Because it, it's yeah. like uh, for women who have like unnatural stuff done, a lot of guys can't tell, but other women can always tell. Maybe yeah. it's like that. I don't know. I just don't want to look like an idiot. That's it. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Why? Because I already No, do. your face is good. I don't know about that. But you have a good face. I mean, I just did the dragon's dogma. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> I saw that clip. so I just had <laughs> yeah. to do the dragon's dogma 2 character creator. Mm. And the problem is like, some things on my face, I go to a hundred or negative a hundred, and it's not enough. Yeah, it was fucked. What like like what? Like how long my face is, or um, no, like I would get if you were worried about being bald. Like you were my, how my nose is very thin, you know, like shit like that. It's actually you. Your nose is perfect. Like it's not weird at all. Well, I I think it's very thin though. Okay, is I it not? A lot of people want that. I've never thought that thought in my whole. Have you ever looked at that and said, "Man, nose." Too thin. Well, I know, I've never thought that about anyone in general. I, know. Yeah. I feel like the thin nose is what people want. Like you see a lot of people get plastic surgery yeah. for the thin nose, but it, it looks like wrong because their nostrils are still wide. Yeah. So I, it looks what like I'm, their face like collapsed. It does. It does look weird. Yeah. Like what I'm saying is like that I made the character try to look like me and the sliders didn't go far enough yeah. for it to look like me. And it was upsetting. That's the worst. It was very <laughs> fucking upsetting. I didn't know what to think. Damn. So yeah, I just got just got done fucking doing that. Yeah, I mean, I still think that if I'm not kidding you, Asman, if you were to shave your head, oh, go to the gym for three months, you would look fucking insane. I don't know about that. I'm just saying, if you, dude, that would be fucking nuts. By the way, yo, Jay, can you pull up an image of the uh, ladybug from Bugs Life? I need to ask Asman a question. Oh fuck. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, don't spoil this. Is this is this gonna be what I think it is? Uh, I don't know. Just uh, yeah, if whoever whoever can pull up an image of the ladybug from Bugs Life, just go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll circle back to that. It's very important. Yeah, out of curiosity, you get another photo too, if you can. You pull up another like, like a full on full on frontal. Uh, uh, it's very important to me.
Out of curiosity, when you look at that, does that remind you of anybody or no? Is that, that yeah, zoom in on that. Does that remind you of anyone? <laughs> does that remind you of anybody? Ah, uh, really? I mean. <laughs> okay. No, okay. Now, what if I were to say Mizkif? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, I could see that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to say that. I mean, that'd be kind of fucked up to That's say, but I mean, like. Candy, bro. <laughs> this un fucking candy, dude. You know, Ethel's dad? Yeah. He's been fucking ragging on Miz for weeks about this. Why? Shit because it's so funny. And I can't not think about it, dude. Why does he get compared to so many cartoon characters? Is it because is his eyebrows are dark? <laughs> That's why. Because his eyebrows are dark and he has like natural like lip lip. Yeah, tone. his his lips are too juicy, right? <laughs> and his eyebrows are just so thick. Yeah, if you change the ladybug's eyes to blue, it's like that's yeah, really it's actually good. really accurate. <laughs> yeah, it's insane, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I remember comparisons like those when I was a kid would drive me nuts. Okay, Jesus, you, who do y'all get compared to? Like you say, yo, you look like this guy. You ever get that shit when you were younger? Or yeah, color? they'll be like somebody will find like a painting of like a French king from the 1400s, and or like some random monk that lived in a monastery 500 years ago. Yeah. They're like, bro, you look just like him. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> For me, it's like any random girl that has the same haircut and eyeliner as me. Yep. Or for some reason, Michael Jackson. What? Because he, he has dark hair and pale skin, I guess. But I feel like every girl that has dark hair and pale skin, people are like, oh, you look like Michael Yo, Jackson. Yo, pull up Michael Jackson. <laughs> I forget what that dude looks like. Light Michael <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> there you go. That's wow, wow. It's already in Holy it. shit. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, I see it. Have you guys ever met a doppelganger of yourself in real life? Like, if just you like do, randomly? You're, if you do, you're supposed to run immediately. I thought oh. you are supposed to kill them. No, I was told you're supposed to run and not make eye contact. Otherwise, uh -huh. they take your skin. Wait, that's scary. You heard of that? We literally the other day, me and Miz were walking on the street and this other guy walks by with his friend and then they both look at each other and Miz is like, hey, it's me. And the other guy's like, they like looked so much fucking alike. I've met one doppelganger of me too, but it was a guy in an airport in Russia. So it was this guy that was around the same age as me, a little bit taller, but we had this like almost the same fucking face. And without makeup, I have freckles. I wasn't wearing makeup. He had freckles too. We both turned around and stared at each other and then just kept walking. Wait, you have freckles? Uh -huh. But they're, they're so faint that when I, I put like concealer on, they're, they're like gone. But I, I have freckles, yeah. You can't see it? I've never seen that before in my entire Wait, life. You might be able to see it like here. Yeah, I... I don't know if it shows Oh, what the I've never noticed yeah. that. That's fucked up, bro. That's like DLC. That's yeah, crazy. It's, they're so that faint new? that even when I put on like any like powder, they're just gone. Like you can't see them on camera anymore. That's cool. No, they're not new. I've had them like since I was a kid. Okay, I thought you meant like some crazy ass shit. No. Like the shit that like... Is, no, or, or, no. Is, Gingers, they always have freckles now. Usually, yeah. Is that a racial slur? Ginger? Can you say that? <laughs> For now. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Like, sometimes, like, these gingers, oh, that feels wrong. Yeah? Yeah. They have, like, the fucking thousand ones where it's, like, the whole face is a freckle. Oh, yeah. No, I, I know that. That's, yeah, I don't know. Bro, I, I never have freckles or anything like that. Oh, I fucking hate them. I had, uh, I had really bad acne whenever I was, like, a teenager. Like, mm -hmm. at 14, 15, it was fucking bad. Yeah, it's probably because you didn't shower. <clears throat> uh, yeah, probably a little. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. I mean, no? most kids who have acne, it's hormonal. One of my best friends had crazy acne, like cystic acne. And people would always tell him like, have you tried washing your face? And it would piss him off so fucking much. That's I felt so bad for him. That's true. Because like in, in like senior year, like all of my acne went away. Yeah. And I was showering less than than ever because that's whenever I was like really playing WoW a lot. Yeah. So like it was actually like probably showering maybe gave me the acne. If anything. Mm -hmm. I remember acne cream would give me more acne. And then once I stopped acne cream, I stopped getting acne. I like my parents got stuff for me to use. That's how bad it was. And I just said, there's no way I'm going to use this. I'm just going to shave it off with a razor and then yeah. pull it off. Yeah, That's it. Oh my God. Jesus wait, you would shave. Wait, hold up. What the fuck? Yeah, I just realized you what you just said. Sorry, wait. You would, you would sh shave off your acne? Can you see right here? It's the scars. That's what that's see? from? Oh, I never. That's the only part of my face that's fucked up at all. I never I, knew yeah, what that was from. It's not from. that bad. I, I mean, some people it's have like... That, no, really, yeah, I thought you just had the scarlet rot. Really 
No, I have it on here too. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you don't have like craters or anything. Those, those no, stuff, you have no. to get like lasers yeah. to get rid of that. So what, I, what I've been doing lately, oh, this is going to sound really weird. You ever had a facial? Mm. You get facials? Oh, yeah. Yep. That's the thing where they put all the shit on you, right? Yeah, or the thing that Sarah does with my mom. But what oh. you do is you lay down and then these nice people, they like, they like rub you up. They you grab do, you. You get the, the extractions done where they pull the shit out of your face. Yep, and they show me it. And they I've, say, they I've say, never done fucking that, grocery, but I, I want to do that. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if I have shit to, I mean, probably, but I, I want to get like the fucking dirt pulled. <gasps> we you should do that for a special. We should. I know a lady. Her we can compare who had more dirt in their face. It will not be me. It won't. I'll tell you why. It's because I, if I can, <laughs> I have good enough eyesight. I can literally see inside my pores if I look in the mirror and I will pull it out. No, no. I swear to God. I did okay, it two that, days that's ago. That's like, like a whitehead. Like this is like really tiny shit. Like they got to use like a needle for this. Unless you're like a bird. What do you mean? No. Like, like bird, bird vision. I think you'll be surprised. If if we do it, I think that you'll be surprised. You do you use your okay, blackheads? Like, you, yeah. you get that you say some what? crazy shit sometimes. How do you... So he well, doesn't shower, but he cleans well, his I, blackheads? Well, no, no. I, Who is this man? Well, no, <laughs> Someone stop I, him. <laughs> the, the actual method of it mm. is that I take a knife and... <laughs> no. I take a, and it's it's not a, a serrated knife, and then I use it and I scrape all of the skin off of my face, and I do that about once a week. And then do you collect it, and then you like make separate masks to put on other people that you keep in a hole? No, that's a good <laughs> idea though. Oh my god, he he's he exfoliates. So that's, I, that's what I. No, I've been doing this ever since I was a little kid. I mean, I've been peeling off my face. <laughs> that's yeah. insane, bro. Yeah, that's, that's so that's I've been doing crazy. that. My face is like all bloody sometimes. I yeah. hope somebody clips you saying that and puts like eerie music in the background and makes it black. It's and not wide. even that weird. <laughs> it's not even that. No, it's not weird at all. Like other people do this as like a spa treatment. They just do it a little bit more cleanly yeah. than I do. I just feel like there's this a. This is the. I'm not. Even, I'm the one that's normal. Here, yeah, guys, peel off your face no, today. I mean, he's right. It's called I know. it's called dermaplaning. Yeah, but, but they usually use like a razor, not a knife. That's yeah. what, well, it's the same thing. No, it's not. What's the difference? You're not supposed to bleed. <laughs> well, are you bleeding when you do that? Um, oh, please, for love of God, for my sanity, please say you're not he bleeding. He said he would bleed. Sometimes I will, and uh, not always, but sometimes. I have scars on my back from doing it. I feel like there's a lot of clips that can be taken from today's episode where you play Why? It. Why it's a little it? bit slow motion, black, black and white, and just it's not that bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. I support you. Well, what do you mean I support? What, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the I well, I'm just saying, yeah. like, I don't have like I don't have anything wrong. You know, everything's good with my face. It's worked very well. You do look good. That's you do look right. good. There it is. No, I will say, you know, it looks very good. What's and, uh, that? We have to talk about this because this was very exciting to me. Weebs won recently. You guys see the new Weebs taking over? Mm, Wick what? Donalds. Wick Donalds? Oh, yeah, Wick Donalds. Donalds. I thought that was fake when I first nope. saw that. I went. I got the new Wick Donalds sauce. Is it good? Uh, I love it. It's garlic and chili. Oh, okay. Yep. You, like you don't look appetized. What sauce do you get at McDonald's? Wick McDonald's. Uh, I just get ketchup and uh, what do you mean, barbecue sauce? Yeah, for your chicken nuggets. Yeah, yeah I just get the tangy sauce barbecue sauce. No, that shit is fucking fire. I mix sweet and sour. I like barbecue. all their sauces, honestly. I've only had one my whole life. I don't think there's a McDonald's sauce I don't like. I, I, think, don't I even like get their, like the hot mustard and stuff. I don't like their buffalo. Their buffalo is weird. Yeah, it's Burger, like, it's Burger like, King's is clutch. It's acidic. It is. It's way too. It's way too. Uh, it's way too acidic. One hundred percent. I still eat it. it yeah, burns. Got, it's good. Uh, it's one of those lingerers where you eat it and you taste it like half an hour later. Ugh. Yeah, your breath oh, does smell like, like shit, but uh, that's okay. You eat some gum. Yeah, they got they got anime girls yeah. on the bag and they got uh, yeah, anime dudes in the box and they flip the fucking logo and uh, they they change. Some McDonald's do this. They say, welcome to Wick McDonald's when you go to the drive through It was a whole experience. It was very exciting for me. There's no way if I went to my McDonald's, they would say that. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you There's know. There's no shot. One out of 10. Yeah. One out of 10 will do it. The ones who don't hate their lives. But so again, why are they doing bar. this? Uh, anime is cool. Oh, oh really? So, okay, so essentially, uh, in anime, 
You have one million percent seen an anime. Probably Devil's a part time. I'm mean, shit. Well, that one probably doesn't. Um, in anime, they can't say McDonald's because it's copyrighted, so they call it Wickdonald's. Or like Burger yeah, Champ. Or like, yeah, like KFC would be like JFC and shit like that. Yeah. KFC oh, okay. would be JFK. Would be like Stainbucks. Yeah. Stainbucks. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So they said, fuck it, we'll just take this shit. Now they got McDonald's. So they double copyrighted it. So the anime are going to have to pivot again. It'd be Dick Donald's? Yeah, Dick Donald's. Yeah. <laughs> Dick Donald's. <laughs> Damn, bro. I didn't even know that. What the fuck? Yep. Okay, so like now they have like, an so like they're trying to capitalize on like weebs to get weebs to go to McDonald's now. Which is crazy because I feel like all these weebs have already gone, but yeah. I mean, I one million percent goat. I feel like any weeb probably goes to McDonald's all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I really don't like how we haven't gone to Cosmics yet. That's really bothering me. Oh, yeah. Because it's not open, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I don't know if it is yet. Oh. I think I it's, it's going to be... About it. Yeah, it's going to happen, I think, in like six months or something like that. Six months? Yeah, it was a while. Well, I don't remember the exact date. It was two that, months that, ago, so it might be three months from now. We still need to go to Cosmics. We need to go to the AI McDonald's. The AI McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, also, fun fact. Uh, to all these people who've been shitting on AI lately, which yeah. is fine. You know how much money I've made? from just investing in AI. Like, I swear to God, How I feel like- You scumbag. No, I, I don't give a fuck. You're an enabler. Oh, I, don't, I don't care. Because what they, what they do is they go online and they say, oh, we don't like this thing. Everybody hates this thing. And then you see the stock market price and it's like up, 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 up. Yeah. And, and they're, they're trying to deter you from making money. I, I mean, I, I invested, I probably invested like $5,000 in NVIDIA and I've seen like 20% growth. Like the past two months. Oh, yeah, the video's been going crazy. That's a yeah. lot. That's a thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot. You know, it's good. But uh, I just feel like people need to understand that the mentality of Twitter is not the status quo. And just because people say, oh, I'm fucking mad. If you use AI, I'm going to kill myself, right? Well, the people who are going to make money off the stock market just don't fucking care. 90% of people, like how many people on earth do you think actually use Twitter? Or think, hmm, I need a take. Let me go on Most Twitter to see what everybody else is thinking. But the ones that are posting on there and interacting with stuff are the ones that have nothing to do, yeah. which is mostly like high schoolers. Yeah. Everybody hates slavery, right? It's like if you posted that slavery was good on Twitter, yeah. you would get a lot of people that would say, no, it's not. Right. Right. Like I, this is kind of like a general opinion that most people have. Okay. But where do we get our phones? Where do we get the batteries from our phones? Well, I mean, you know, we don't hate slavery that much. Right. Wait. It's the, it's not really that bad, right? Is oh, there that, actual slaves that make our phones? I mean, the, 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 like adjacent, right? Adjacent. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like unpaid or low paid Chinese children. Well, sometimes they have like kids that work yeah. in like cobalt mines and stuff like that that make the batteries. And that's real. Yeah. What is cobalt? I thought that only existed in World of Warcraft. Is that a real in thing? Rath yeah, in Wrath of Lich King. Yeah, the cobalt it's, it's is real. real. Yeah, it's the blue thing. Yeah. I thought that was just a color. Yeah. Which so what does cobalt do? I don't know. I don't make batteries. I'm going to Google that. I don't think cobalt's real. Yeah. You don't what think up? it is? It is. I've never heard of this before. That's, that's the fucking DLC just dropped. Mm -hmm. Cobalt. In the cobalt mines. Real mm -hmm. life. Cobalt is used to make airbags. Oh my God, it's real. Catalyst for the petroleum and chemical industries, cemented carbines, diamond tools, corrosion, wear resistant alloys. There you go. Interesting. I did not know that. What it looks like. Ooh, it's like blue and it's, it's like blue. an obelisk kind of. Yeah. Damn, that's pretty as fuck. Yeah. That is cobalt right there. Yeah. The color. Damn, that's nice. Okay, I didn't know that. You gotta go buy a rock of it. <laughs> that's a cool little fact. Oh, yeah, by yeah, the way. So people don't give a fuck what anybody on Twitter really thinks. Or that's TikTok. what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. No, you're right. You're definitely right. I mean, most people don't give a shit about that stuff. There's always, and this is the problem that like some companies have, they try to make these people on Twitter and on social media happy. Yep. Always a mistake. A lot of the companies that Twitter hates are massively successful. Yep. It doesn't matter. Make a good product, people will buy it. It doesn't matter if slaves make it or not. Yep. No, I, I agree. Uh, and these people think that like, oh, somebody got a hate thread on Twitter. <laughs> well, they're I bet canceled. when they go live on Twitch, their chat's gonna be out of control and it's like just legit the same. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. And they'll just be like, hey, yo, Asma, you see you got canceled? Lol. <laughs> That's pretty much the 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 overarching <laughs> damage they have on people's Twitch streams. It's so fucking stupid. I mean, it, for some people, it is it is over if they get a Twitter hate thread. But it, de drop. it depends. Who's it over for, I mean? Who you referencing? Who you subbed to me right now? You know, just like some guy. Some guys... Oh, right. Those guys. I still need to look into that. Honestly, I, I, I didn't even look into it that much. I, I was just this, like, I well. said, I will say it on stream. I think that the guy puns 
So he puts out a twit longer responding to like him being a creep or a weirdo. And I read like three or four paragraphs of it. And I started scrolling down and that shit was so fucking long. Yeah. That was the best strategy I've ever seen for a twit longer is you make it so fucking long. Nobody's going to read it. And they'll just be like, yeah, whatever, man. Yep. That's it. Yep. Uh, Actually filibustered. Yep. <laughs> Fuck, it was so funny. I read what did he, a, I read what did a, he do? I don't know. I didn't read the whole thing. Oh. I read a twit longer recently that had a TLDR in it, which yeah. I've never seen that before. It was 47 pages. 47 page twit longer. I don't know how long Queen Pones was. But uh, forty seven. She hasn't done hers yet. She hasn't done hers yet. No. Oh, she will. I'm sure she will. Uh, but yeah, did you see that Congress is trying to ban TikTok again? And Joe I did Biden, see that. Joe Biden supports it. Also, I would like to say, I want, I want to know your opinion. I kind of just don't give a fuck when people say this person has been accused of this. Am I supposed to give a fuck? You, this is going to be a very unpopular opinion. Okay, great. I decide. I just look at them. I know if they're guilty or not. <laughs> I can just okay. look at their ass and I say, did they do it or not? And that's it. I feel like I feel like that's what everybody does. But for me, I'm just like, I would just like to wait for proof of things. For me, I, I just read it. that's the normal opinion. Because, I mean, most people that see that kind of stuff, they're not really going to be like commenting, you know? I feel like, I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe I had a w different experience. Maybe it's because like everything I've ever been accused of, people are like, yeah, fuck this bald fuck. I've never seen anybody say, guys, let's wait. Let's wait a second. I've I, never said that. I, I do see people saying that in the comments and then they get fucking shit on. <laughs> but, but, oh, okay. So you so so you you don't believe women. Okay, so you hate women. So you want to enable this behavior. Yep. Wow. Wow, bro. Look at this guy. Yep. Oh yeah, exactly. I don't know. It would just be cool if we were just like, hey, this guy did this and here's them doing that. That would be cool. Well, it's, most times they don't really have like, you know, it's not like video evidence, right? I yeah, mean, that's it, true. It's hard. It's, it is hard yeah. to prove everything. It yeah, is very, it's hard very, very to hard. prove it, like beyond yes. a shadow of a doubt. So yeah. like, yeah, I just look at the people and like, usually I don't know why, like just fucking like, I don't know why they try to act like in the middle ground. It's like, if you were doing this, it's obviously bad. Like, yeah. it's obviously bad what you're doing. Why are you trying to like wiggle out of it? Just be like, yeah, I fucked up my bad. And be yeah. like, yeah, I'm not going to change anything and I'm sorry, but yeah, that's about it. Do you guys want to play Minecraft? No, cool. absolutely not. Cool. Especially not. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Do you guys watch the live action uh, Last Airbender? Absolutely not. Cool. I haven't. We were really supposed to, and I'm really sad no. that none of us here watched well, it. Well, I, I actually was excited to watch it because I kind of was like, I had, I would say, optimistic expectations, but I've only seen people complain about it, which kind of made me uninterested in watching it. I have only seen bad things. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so I think we just go on and skip that one. I feel like the next live action that comes out, we should just hang out and just watch the whole thing in one setting. That's is fine. It, there's a Fallout one coming out, I think. That one's going to be fucking oh, yeah, good as fuck. That, yeah. that one looks insane. The Borderlands movie looks like trash because they're doing this fucking thing where everything has to go Hollywood. <laughs> they got to hire fucking Kevin Hart to play, uh, fuck, whatever, what, Brutus, whatever the fuck his name is, the commander, which makes no sense. Uh, uh, the, the What's the name of the girl? The, the siren? I never played that game. Oh my God, Aspen, that is fucked up. You would love I've been busy playing WoW for 15 years, uh, no, man. Borderlands like any too. game that came out, I'm playing WoW. What is it with Hollywood and being Rolling, like, we need these popular, because like, so like the Mario movie, for example. Yeah. Like everyone was complaining about how Mario was played by Chris Pratt, which I thought he did a good job, right? I but, think he did okay. But would it have mattered if some no name played Mario? Like, do you think that people less people would have gone? Like, yeah, I, I do. I think really? that it definitely matters. Like, star value matters a lot with Hollywood, with like having people go and actually watch movies. And like, you have movies like, for example, Napoleon Dynamite. It was like completely massively popular, and it didn't have like any really big actors in it. It's one of and, my favorite movies, by the way. Yeah, I love I mean, it. It's really good. So good. And so, like, th and there's a few other ones. Like, I remember, uh, like, Wrist Cutters, a love story, had a bunch of, like, unknown, like, actors and shit like that. And that one was really popular for, like, three or four years. And in general, like, I do think, like, if you go back and you look at some of the biggest and best movies, like The Departed, full, like, AAA cast, right? Full A list cast. Full, like, Lord of the Rings, full A list cast. Wait, wait, was that really? Were they known before Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What did Frodo do before Lord of the Rings? Elijah Wood. He was yeah. a child actor. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought that was all their first movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Orlando Bloom. He's sexy as fuck. He surely did something. I just don't know what. I mean, I don't know if... He, I think he Pirates of the Caribbean was after thing. that. But uh, Yeah. 
I think he was pretty young at the time, but like a lot of the other actors that were in that movie were were very well known. Yeah, like Hugo Weaving, right? The guy that played Elrond. I mean, he like at that time, like he had been in the Matrix. Okay, like, that was huge, right? Yeah, and then also like. Uh, I would say like pretty much all the rest of them almost. I, I had this like really, Sean Bean like was huge. I, I just I yeah. just hate it. Like it, it for me, it takes me out of it. Like I was watching Dune Two, which I much prefer Dune One. Uh, Dune Two felt like a Mr. Beast video. That's gonna be such a, people are gonna hate this fucking take. <laughs> it was just almost too fast. I, I wish they'd let it breathe because I I really enjoy the Dune series. So when I saw Dune Two and it was just so fucking fast, moments were happening and I wasn't even sure how the fuck they got there. They should have slowed mm -hmm. it down a it's little bit. It's hard for book adaptations though. A hundred percent. What's the name of the guy who talks like this? Is it Paul? Is it Christopher Walker? Yes, yeah, Christopher Walker. Yeah, that he's there. Uh, he's there all of a sudden as like the king. Right. There was not a single moment I was like, "That's the king." I was like, "That's what? What the fuck is Christopher Walker doing here?" Yeah, it's just <laughs> so weird. Like I feel like when you get that famous, Christopher Walken. Yeah, that dude. That's the guy. <laughs> dude, I love his voice so much. It's so funny. But yeah, he was in Dune too. Can you pull up? Can you, can you pull up Christopher Walken Dune too? Like when you when you look at him in this movie, you're not gonna think that's the king. It's just it's just it's just him. Well, what do you want him to wear a crown? He's gotta do something. Like I don't know. It just it just felt so fucking weird. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I feel like he fits the face. I don't know. I mean, I felt I feel like Batista did a great job for his role. Um but I, I don't know. I, I just wish I wish Hollywood stopped giving so much of a fuck about spamming, spamming alt put in this Hollywood actor in this fucking film for no reason. Like, fine well, in actors. a lot of cases, it's because the movie probably isn't super good. So they think that if they put well-known actors in the movie, it'll carry the movie and get people to go see it. I get like, it. Like, that's the logic. I mean, there's, in general, like I tell you guys, like the way that I decide whether a movie will be good or not is based off of the actors. Like, if I see good actors in the movie, I'll go and see the movie regardless of the context. I guess for me, I'm like, is the concept of the movie good? It is? Okay, I'll go watch that. I, I guess I just don't give a fuck who acts it. Personally. Yeah, I definitely do. I think that that really plays a big part in like how good the movie is. Sure. I mean, I, I guess there is some movies where I'm like, oh, my favorite actors, and I'll go yeah. see, but I only have like one that's like Jack Black. Mm -hmm. But even Jack Black being in Borderlands 2 or Borderlands, that, that still pisses me the fuck off because it's me claptrap. Um, anyways, uh, I feel like my dad talking about this. By the way, when you getting your when you getting your dad on Steak and Eggs? Oh my God. My dad <laughs> will call me sometimes during my stream and just like, he called me last time. He just sat there and talked shit for 10 minutes and then he hung up. Talk shit about what? He was like, well, yeah, he was lying. You know, he didn't really listen. It wasn't that hard for him. He wasn't like me where we had to go kill squirrels to eat and stay alive. And like, yeah, you thought you were poor. You ain't no shit about poor. You don't even know what poor is. Uh, and he's God. sitting there just talking shit. Who is he talking about? Himself. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. good for him. Yeah, yeah. So let's it, get him on. I mean, I'm sure he'd probably be down. Next episode. Oh, God. I don't know if it'd be that soon. Two episodes from now. Maybe, yeah. I'll have to ask. Emmy, clearly our parents would be a lot to deal with. Uh -huh. I don't think you're planning on bringing your parents on. I feel like my... Do you think your parents are good content? Yeah, but in the sense that, like, they would be very clueless and that's what would make it interesting, I guess. Who's your content, your mom or your dad? Probably my mom. My dad's a very fucking quiet guy. My mom's super talkative. Dude, our dad's your mom. I feel like your dad's would make my mom cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? He's the sweetest guy. Really? He is so sweet. <laughs> like, oh my God. My mom just gets, like, kind of intimidated. Like, okay, so she she's a aerospace engineer and most of her coworkers are like older dudes. Yeah. I remember like one time she came home crying. She was like, they were being mean to me because I'm a Democrat. And I was like, oh no. Well, That's right. Sorry, Hell Mom. yeah, brother. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I said we pencil it in. Why don't we say in the next 10 episodes? Oh God. We'll have one of our parents on. I mean, if my dad wanted to come on, I'd be down for it. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. I would just, well, I mean, this is pre-recorded, so it's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, that's good. And the next 10 episodes, we'll have one of our parents. I mine, will, yours, or Emmy's. <laughs> I, I, we'll see what happens. We'll yeah. make it happen, guys. Yeah. We'll make it happen. You want to read YouTube comments, Emmy? Sure. Uh, What the fuck is his name? Fresh left Sekiro 7659 said, cleaning his house is Asmund's 401k. Can you imagine the views when he finally goes through with it? It's not that bad. It. <laughs> it's not. 
I mean, the living room is really bad, but everywhere else is pretty much normal. Mad Owl Murphy says, I love this podcast. I didn't miss a single episode. And it's always so nice when you open YouTube and see it's Friday, heart. Wow, oh, what so a sweet. nice guy. And E Black 18 says, I like the part where Tech Tone says that's badass. Badass, oh, dude. Shit, dude. You don't yeah, say it that, that much anymore. I, did, I, well, I never said it that much. I said it for one episode as a joke. <laughs> no, I you just, used to say it like on occasion, but now I don't ever really it, But it was it. like, it was like, it was a gimmick. No, I know, but, yeah. but it was like a thing people went. Yeah, now yeah. the thing I mainly say is holy shit, dude, or dude bro chat, but I don't really say that too much here because chat's not here, so I miss him. We need to do another live episode. Oh, God. Wait, is it over? Is it, is I'm it uh, I'm willing to do another live episode if people want it. We should. I think we should do one monthly. Yeah, I'm always willing to do a live episode, do something stupid like that. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. Sounds fun. Are we, are we leaving? Are we done? I think that we're good. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we've talked about a lot of stuff. I mean, overall. Yeah. Well, guys, I guess we'll see y'all next week. Well, shit, boys. Thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Uh, today, we're doing something really fun. We're doing an anime tier list because Asmund's been getting into Death Note lately Finally. and he's been loving it, which gets me excited. So now we have a tier list of uh, some of the best anime ever created, the top 300. We probably won't get them all. I don't care, what are, are y'all's top three anime? Top three? Yeah, it's off the rip. It's tough because I've like I've been watching anime over a period of like, I want to say like 15 years. Yeah. So it's hard to compare something I watched a year ago to something I have I watched like recently. Cause like, you know, like when you're younger, it's different. But I'd yeah. probably say for me, like Mob Psycho, Code Geass, FMA Brotherhood. I know you have feelings about people, but I love that one oh, when I, when I watched it. Yeah. So it's kind of based off like the feeling. Oh, maybe Death Note would be up there too. Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of like Mob. I love Mob. Yeah. What about you, Esmond? Berserk. Good one. Ghosts in the Shell. Good one. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Which season? One and two. Dude, actually saying that you like one is a very bold take. Not only is it a bold take, but it's actually the only correct take. I think it's also very good. <laughs> I yes. feel like people who don't like it just don't get it. And it's also, yes. it is the most important season for the actions that come after that. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, I'm part it's five. It's my favorite by far. I love part five. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Um, Giorno Giovanna. Not yet. Holy fuck. Can I tell you what it's about? I'll, I'm, I will get there. Okay. I will get there. <laughs>